these glasses don't pick up 3D. <laughs> we'll see you later. Saben que este, este almuerzo esta tarde es el beneficio del Centro San Juan de Puerto Rico y las hermanas Marianitas que están sentadas por ahí. Ya sé que algunos de ustedes han empezado a, a, a almorzar ya, las perdonamos. Primero quisiéramos llamar al Monseñor. Man's best friend may be his dog, but at Tamiami Park today, a dog's best friend was his frisbee. Mutz accompanied their masters to the Gaines Ashley Whippet Invitational for discatching dogs, and it was a chance for canines to make big points with the judges. Okay, they get uh, one point if they catch the frisbee within the circle. They get two points if it's outside the circle and one or two paws are on the ground. And they get three points if all paws are off the ground and outside the circle. Contestants each had one minute to jump, catch, and fetch, scoring as many points as possible. For Chris Brown and his Labrador bear, it's a matter of being assertive. It's just aggression. Just keep after it. Just keep practicing and practicing. The dog takes it up, just pursue it. Just keep going for it. Russ Talon trained his dog Trooper at home, buttering him up for the big event. Where do you practice and what's the secret? A backyard and we use a little butter dishes. The top's off a of butter dish because they're, you know, inexpensive. Tears them up anyway. But he just has fun. That's what he likes. Contest winners will go on to compete in the world finals to be held in Chicago, where the sky's the limit. Lisa Gregorish, News 4. This is only the fourth time in his life Turner Gilmore has been on ice skates, but it's definitely one trip to the rink he'll never forget. His bride-to-be teaches ice skating at the Youth Center on Miami Beach, and she's always dreamed of getting married on ice. When I first came up with the idea, he didn't know how to ice skate at all. He'd never skated before. This is his fourth time on the ice, but he's very coordinated, very talented, so he's ready. Ready or not, the procession started. With feet planted firmly on the ice, sort of, the wedding party made its way onto the rink. And while every bride's entrance is grand, this one had a little more flair than most. No slip-ups during the exchange of vows. In fact, the two were poised as if they were in church. After a brief ceremony, the only icing left at this wedding was on the cake. What about the honeymoon? We're going to go where it's nice and warm, and we're going to lay on the sand on Miami Beach. Lisa Gregorish, News 4. In America, if you can make a better toothpaste or make people think yours is better, you can be a millionaire. Here's a new toothpaste called Shane. And here's the 71-year-old North Miami Beach man who invented it. He's a millionaire now. Two things up front about chain toothpaste. It feels and tastes like most other toothpaste. But it costs three times as much as the big national brand I used this morning. So enter Jerome Schulman, who spent nine months experimenting with extracts from the aloe plant, the key ingredient in Shane. I do the radio, TV commercials. I do the public relations, I do everything, period. I mean, I do everything. It works. Shane didn't exist two years ago. Today, 80,000 tubes go across the counter every month. The secret is testimonials. Shulman has done almost no tests on his product. 
but he seems to get more mail than Santa Claus. All from people who say the toothpaste helps gums and cheeks as well as teeth. I had a letter from a man in um, Minneapolis. He says for 40 years he had sensitivity and bleeding gums. We got these letters all the time. In fact, here's a letter from a person. He says, I've heard of the miracle 34th Street, but regarding Shane, this is a new miracle. But there is also this from the American Dental Association. While we are convinced Shane is safe, there's no reason to believe it's more effective in any way than less expensive toothpastes. Nevertheless, Schulman sells on. His toothpaste will be in supermarkets later in the year, and he says he's also working on this great new skin lotion. Tim Minton, News 4.